Hey everyone. Um, my name is Stefan. Um, my current name is also Cynthia. And I'm trying my hardest, you know. I am. Um, I'm going through a really emotional time, you know. I can't even meditate, you know. I just feel. I don't. I don't want to say the word. You know, I know that I have to be mindful of these emotions. Maybe if I be more mindful and realise, you know, the emotions that I'm going through right now, maybe I'll be able to meditate on that and embrace that so I can be more skillful. But I just have to say it out loud. I have to say, tell someone more. You know, that it's not okay to misgender me anymore. It's just not okay. And I won't tolerate it with anyone. There might be some people who've known me for a long time. And they might think it's okay. Even if they make the mistake and say, oh, I forgot. Or, you know, or something. Oh, I've known you for so long, but I'm just getting used to it. Well, I'm sorry, but that's, I'm not sure if I can even accept that anymore. I understand that it will take a while, but I just can't. Really, you know, I'm just so emotional. I can't, I can hardly do anything apart from this video and some other things and uh, well on this topic there's other things I want to say look I might not look like the gender that I say that I am I might even speak properly I not, might not be able to do my voice properly in the right gender the right gender uh, gender genderized genderized voice or whatever properly yeah uh, you know, I, I try to learn more about it, you know, when I feel more upbeat and stuff. But I'm also feeling at the moment that I should do more things more naturally. And by that I mean just be myself now, okay? So that means that I might not do anything um, at all, like the gender that I say that I am, which I'm female, you know? So when you say she, okay, that's she now. I'm a she now. Okay, that's okay. yeah. Now, why te why have you gone through all of this? Why? Okay, it's just how, that's how I feel. That's who I am. That's you know. At one time, I was you know, and it was a really pinnacle moment of my life where I thought that I was going to end up in a gutter. You know what I'm saying? But no, I want to live my life honestly, most respectfully. You know, and the only way I could do that, then start to think about what about my gender. Maybe that's the problem here. I don't since then my life has been I've been fear I've become less addicted to things and more casual, you know. But when others like to say, Well, hold on a second, there's nothing you know, um you know who you are, you know, that's what's like that's how it feels like. I I can't really even remember what it feels it just feels traumatic wouldn't be i don't know the concept now tra traumatizes me i don't think it's i know people out there would but i'm saying now that i'm not going to tolerate any of that i don't think i'll tolerate it ever again now because now that I've, now that i've been waking wake up a bit you know I'm starting to see, you know, that maybe it, you know, that it is real, you know, that, uh, 
Hadi içeride ağrısı sana da böyle fesin neydi? Maç sen mi? I don't, I hate it when people have, have a logical, not logical, but a scientific uh, explanation for that, you know. I just, I just think it's a waste of time. You know, we're about being mindful here. You know, we, it's in the Buddhist time, like, right? it's the world infinite, you know. And the Buddhist, one of these Buddhist masters I was listening to last night said, well, I'm not going to answer any of these questions, okay? I might, I already answered this, but I'm not going to answer them, you know? That's kind of like me right now, you know? So, you know, I just want to say that I'm a she and I, you know, if you're dealing with me on the internet, because most of the time I'm on the internet, um, which is another story. You know, why am I always, oh, why are you always on the internet? That'll be, and all these kind of questions, some of these questions will be answered throughout my different role play series, you know. But I just feel like there's a lot of meta, you know, with these older people, um, you know, who like, you know, these, these hermans or whatever, uh, these trans, miserable people, whatever, you know, that rhetoric, you know, it is just garbage, you know, it's just the opposite. These people with these kind of rhetorics, so, I'm sorry, but I think they're the garbage, okay? And we're trying to get the answers here. But all I can say is that I'm deeply, I feel deeply, I feel astonish, astonishingly pre-traumatised with the concept that that I could be that um, that someone's not gonna sit, go by my agenda. That they're not gonna go by my agenda, you know. Now, okay, in the past, the past, but now I'm talking about now, okay. Now you can say, well, just go by no agenda. Has been neutral, but I, it's my preference, you know. I might not highlight, like I said, I might not highlight any kind of women you've ever, you've ever. Um, conceived or met or anything, and I don't think I'll ever I I, I feel a female to be honest, but I identify as a female. Okay, I might just keep doing my own thing. Let's like, keep it, you know, keep doing what I used to do forever. You know, but I don't know that. You know, and I, I just don't know the next point. You know. So, please don't misgender me ever again. Don't misgender me ever. I'm not saying that. I don't know if anyone has yet. At first, people weren't sure. But, I've actually fallen out with people, you know. I was just playing League casually and like, definitely wants to be a girl now. Well, no. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. It's I am a girl, yeah. I've taken these steps as so, well. So what steps? You know, um, no, I identify as a girl now, okay? Um, no, like I said, I do it naturally. Neutr- I do it neutrally. I'm a neutrally female. Neutrally female. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't really do stereotypes. And, you know, I don't really do any women things, but I just love women. I'm just female, and I don't know how, um, maybe, okay, maybe it was a very unusual circumstance, and um, a very unorthodox procedure here, an unorthodox female here, that came into this, um, possession, that, um, that, to awaken to, my of a, my true gender to awaken to my true self and to awaken to the fact that um that you know I'm a gender and stuff and to awaken to the fact okay well, I'm some born I want necessarily um not necessarily like other women you know but now I'm ever woken to this and to use this um piece of um theory or 
fact, uh, I've actually managed to really improve myself, to really become more skillful, to take more control of my life, to be more real and more honest. I still can't, you know, I'm still uncomfortable with socialising, you know. I'm still not getting on with people who maybe I could, but I, I don't want to. Uh, for other reasons, you know, still can't, you know, and I still can't really function in society. But I know maybe I'd be more functional if I had some friends now. So I don't know if I'm ready to make any friends, you know, I don't think I ever will. But I'll be making better content. And, you know, the content, I'm not really a female that much. But I think I am. I think all the videos are female now. Since I've, I've woken to this, went to the wake to this. I've woken to this about two years, uh, nearly one and a half years ago. Um, I think these, new, these recent videos have been very female, even though I'm not necessarily acting like one. And that even my characters, you know, they're not necessarily female, you know. But I think that they are made by female very much. And they don't go on about female issues at all. But it just so happened to be that, you know, I'm not, I ain't any other person, you know. I do things very different, I do things my way. I had to learn things myself, okay. And, you know, I can't even speak properly, you know, I try to do it. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about another video as well, about my dysphoria. And now I get dysphoria of, you know, I'm not even speaking, I'm not getting my feet in my way, you know, slipping into my own voices. Do I, get, I get dysphoria of that. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to get shouted at, you know, if I don't speak like that. Uh, if I speak like if I, if I speak like this, no, I don't speak like um anyone else really. Um, you know, so I think I need to go more in depth. You know what I'm saying? I need to take um more energy. You know, if I'm real, if I'm serious about this, I have to have more drink, more energy to feel you know to feel at ease. You know. To, to calm my anxieties for a bit, you know. And that's the thing that like, I really, you know, I really want to, um, you know, I really want to do more things for my life, you know, I want to live more, you know. And I know I need someone else to live with, you know. So oh, we'll leave the other topics for the videos. Obviously, as I have very neutral, you know, very um, I don't know. I can't fi I can't figure out the word, but I'd say that um, I'd say I don't know what the word is. I'd say it's a social. I'd say I'd say I'm not actually a social. Um, really, yeah, that sounds funny in itself, no. I can't figure out, it's not antisocial, it's something, yeah, I think I might be thinking about the antisocial, so, so, you know, I'll leave these other topics for a few years, it's just, I've you know, been feeling traumatized that um, this morning. You know, feeling traumatized with preemptive, uh, preemptive misgendering of myself. Even myself, I can misgender myself, but I, I'm still getting used to. I'm getting used to it myself, you know. When I get, you know, that, that feels embarrassing, you know believe that, you know, I'm still getting that used to believing that, that that can be the correct gender, you know, I always feel, um, 
you know, I always feel like I'm going to be stuck, you know. But, you know, that, and to, to finish it off, for anyone who's still watching, you know, the death from RP, you know. That's going to be make a return. Just getting the ideas, getting the right vibes, of, you know, getting my gosh, some good ideas today, but I'm not sure if I, can, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable. You know, it's just, you know, I've just got that really horrible feeling recently. I have this horrible feeling so much that, you know, I can, I can hardly even meditate. That's all I'm really trying to talk about right now. Um, you know, I just feel so anxious, you know. So, you know, I could, you know, we'll see if there's any more ideas, stronger, big ideas later. So, you know, this is all, you know, uh, you know this is all going to really stay right now. You know, I'm really trying my hardest, you know. I just want, you know, to stop misgendering me. It really has. Stop misgendering people. If they specifically said their gender, don't misgender them. You know, if they say, this is my name now, then please, even to themselves, Say I'm a she now. Uh, my name's Cynthia now. Well, please notify yourself, if anything. And that's why you know I have to tell myself, "Hey, I'm Cynthia now." You know, I'm Cynthia now. I, you know. I, I don't even. It's hard to believe. Yeah, if it, yeah, if I didn't actually have this on, I'd be you know even the worse worse up, you know. And I don't want to go on about how I would be, but you just have to see it with my content, my future content. See, I mean, that's all I really am, you know. I don't know what else I am, you know. I want to go on big adventures. You know, I want to explore a new city. You know, what's it, you know, you know, I want to go to an, explore another country. You know, so thanks for watching. <laughs>